Hi Virgo, welcome to your what the message <laughs> what they want huh? the message you need to hear uh, reading for March 10th through the 24th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is the follow up to the what they aren't telling you. This is like the follow up to that. All right, this is for Virgo. A new begin, new passionate beginning and feeling like the world is at your feet ready for your instructions. <laughs> or this is a passionate new beginning. How are we going to make this work? All right, Virgo. That could be you, Virgo, or Aries right there, that magician, Virgo. Knight of Wands, passionate pursuit, a lot of things going on. Hmm, okay. Empress, all right. Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups, that could be Pisces. The World, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. All right, Virgo. What's this Seven of Pentacles? Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do some cards first and then I'll put it together. What's this King of Cups about? This is King of Cups. Oh, good gracious. All right. This could be Gemini, this could be Pisces. What's this world about? Wow, Wheel of Fortune. It's five of Wands. All right, I feel like they're... I feel like they want to tell you that they're having doubts because they're just not sure that you two are connecting anymore. They don't feel connected to you. Getting some water, pardon me. And things, maybe, they, maybe they're having regrets about the disconnect or the breakup. Maybe you are already broken up with this person and they're starting to have regrets because they... Sorry, I think they've been thinking about you quite a bit and they might be thinking about reaching out online. Honestly, this is, I think for the Virgos that I'm reading for, this is somebody that they're starting, they might be regretting the disconnect or the breakup or cutting you off emotionally or physically, the physical cutoff. They might have regretted that because I think they're still thinking about you. Honestly, they're still thinking about it. But the reason why I say that you've already broken up, because look at this, we've got the wheel of fortune. We've got, we've got this ending here. Okay. We've got this ending, but this to me reads like, and it always has that the door is still open. They're starting to negotiate that ending. So there's been an ending. Would you like to have a new one? What do you, what do you, what do you say? We spin the wheel, roll the dice. What do you, you know what I mean? Like, this is like, okay, this is the book being finished, but this is the chapter still being unwritten. It's, it's so maybe there's something they feel like they regret or they are just kind of like, you know, I'm not so sure that was a good idea here to end things. And it could be that they're feeling either conflicted. I, if you're out there dating, they might not like that. Even though things have ended, they might not like that. They might all of a sudden be like, wait, what? I don't, I, I think they're feeling conflicted about that or they might have the audacity to like want to bicker with you about you dating someone else or going out and doing your own thing. Kings sit in a position of power. This one keeps his emotions closely veiled. Sometimes he can be compassionate and open. Other times he's hard to read because he's hiding his emotions because there's a lot of emotions going on behind there. This one sometimes can be very controlling and verbally abusive. 
Other times they will speak the truth, but it's kind of cold. Uh, they value truth above all else and execution and being forthright and honorable and all that. But they also could be withholding information in the sense that it's a need to know basis. So we've got two kings here. We, I mean, for this right here, this could be somebody that's really trying to keep control of their emotions. There might be a lot going on, but they're trying to strategically uh, manage them in terms of how the, it's portrayed to you. So like they don't, maybe they don't want you to know too much or know how they feel or this or that, but this is them. Um, I feel like there's been an ending, but all of a sudden you're on their radar again. Why? Because either you're dating or you're just having too much fun <laughs> and, and they're kind of regretting um, the disconnect. All right. You need to think about this. You need to... It could be saying you need to stand your ground and stay stuck on your position. What's this Four of Cups about? This Four of Cups about for Virgo. You know, I feel like this is saying you need to be open. What the heck? What's this Nine of Pentacles about? Wow. So we got this independent person here with the Lover's card. I think they're wanting you to... Okay, so here's the thing. This is them kind of keep, trying to keep their emotions in check, but I think they might be second guessing or regretting having doubts, um, wondering if it was worth it to end things or to disconnect. And I think they there's been an ending, but all of a sudden now they're wanting to renegotiate that because I think you being with other people or dating or being social, I think they're having a problem with that. I don't think this is a, a control freak abusive person. Could be though, because we got the king of... Um, swords here and this could go either way god forbid it's this but um, i haven't had reversals for a while. i don't do reversals for a while so i haven't done reversals for a while this though this could be somebody that does have that sort of controlling those controlling narcissistic abusive tendencies so this could be somebody that was done but then all of a sudden they find out you're dating and they're like oh wait a minute okay but this could be saying, you know what? You're not out of the woods yet emotionally. Be patient. The resolution's coming. Be patient. This could be saying, think about what you want and be patient. Either way, your position needs to be where you are merely an observer. You're not to engage emotionally. You're not to make any movements. It's all about you being patient and thinking about stuff. Um, I say that in light of realizing this might be a emotionally controlling situation so it's like oh we don't want that but this right here i feel like maybe they're waiting for you to make a choice i don't know this is are they leaving things up to you I, this is someone maybe just trying to keep their emotions tamped down because they're waiting for you to make a decision they didn't want to screw it. but things have ended have they reached out are things picking back up again have they reached out and they're like hey you know uh I really feel like this is conflict because they saw you dating again or they saw you out and about and they're like, wait a second. And but your job is to be hands off and to still sit with how you feel, but don't do anything about it. That's that's a hard one. <laughs> sit with how you feel, but it's not for you to do anything about it. It's for you to become resolute with your decision. So that whole uncomfortableness that, you know, usually a lot of times when things get uncomfortable, we do something to make us feel better. Like we, we eat, we shop, we build something, we tear something down, we go for a drive, we do whatever, we do an action to alleviate um, the uncomfortable feelings. This is saying, yeah, do all that, but don't do anything towards resolution with this person. Go for a walk, go for a drive, go to the gym cook a big meal, do something, but don't do anything in connection to resolution with this person, meaning don't reach out. Your job is to stay with how you feel. Give it a container. I know that's weird, but just sit with how you feel and be patient. The You're not supposed to do anything right now, okay? I don't know why I'm saying it, but I, I feel very strongly about that, that this is more about you getting in touch with how you feel about this situation than you resolving it and making it better for this person, okay? This right here, this Nine of Pentacles with the lovers, I feel like this is saying that you need to be, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, it's almost like you need to, you're stuck with being in that in-between land, that in-between 
because this is about a choice and a connection and a soulmate. And right now this is you being independent of that and yet having the choice. So you've got choice here. It's about being patient, right? And being aware of how you feel and this person feels but not doing anything. And this is also you being independent of this choice. Okay, what's this Empress about? I think this is it's twofold. This person, you're on the, they're on your radar or you're on their radar. They're trying to behave because they regret it because they want you back. Part of that's kind of cute because it's like, oh, well, wow, are we ready for each other now? But then the other part, I don't like this. Is this a controlling person that just wants you back because other people want you? Wait a second. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like this is kind of the same thing here where you two or you need to not do anything about your feelings. You need to not come running and make this better. You need to not find out that this, or I mean, you know, just because you're aware that this person might not be happy with you dating or conflicted, it's not your job to rush back in and make them feel better, even though you're kind of feeling disconnected or, um, you know, discontent and kind of like, meh. And this is about you being patient. I, I know it doesn't really make sense with the way it's laid out, but I really feel like, okay, that could be. We got the Empress here. This could have been a codependent relationship. This could have been you making this person's life very good because you were in it and because that's what you do, Virgo. You're a very good partner. This could have been all about how much you loved and took care of and nurtured this person. And all of a sudden, they, they're feeling the absence of that. They're feeling disconnected. Wait a minute. Gosh, I have to make my own breakfast or fold my own clothes or do whatever. And you're out there possibly dating and having a good time and able to make somebody else's life better. Okay, I want this person back. That could be what this is about. Let's see. What's this Empress about? What's this Three of Lady about? What's this Empress about? Conflicted. All right. I think that's what it is. I think you made this person's life very good by being in it. And on the surface, it looks like, oh, you know, now you're on your radar because you're dating and it's like, oh, I want you back because of that. But on, I think, on, I think this is a calculated move. I think this is a calculated move. I think they want you back because they don't want anybody else to have you. And because you made their life very good. In a sense, you were a, a, an excellent parent. You provided every, you met every need for them. Um, and I think they liked that. They, it put them on top. I mean, they got to have the advantage in the relationship. And they got to give very little. They, they, maybe it was to the point where very little needed to be said. You could just kind of anticipate their needs. But this could also be petty communication and silent treatment and bickering. So, you know, I just... I think this person wants you back because of what you do for them. I think the reason why you're supposed to stand down and recognize how you feel and sit with the uncomfortable and be patient and ride it out is because you probably, you were, you might have thought of them as a soulmate, but I don't see that here. I see this as someone who liked the kind of life that you made for them and wants you back because of that, because it gave them an advantage and made them on top. Um, and they, it, they had to do very little. They, they probably were kind of petty. Sorry, Virgo. I know that it's like, oh, it's supposed to be a good thing. We got the Empress and the Lovers here, but I just, I feel like it's not for you. You need to make sure that you stay around your friends and family just because when you're kind of starting to get like about something and it gets to be too much, invariably to solve that anxiety, we reach out or we do something that might not be the best, but it makes sense at the time because it alleviates all that pressure and that buildup inside of us. It's like, I can't sit still another minute. Well, that's exactly what you're supposed to do is to just give your feelings a container, but not open that jar and let them flow out and go running back to this situation. Run, bike, walk, hang out with friends, do whatever you have to do to to let this pass through. This too shall pass, right? Um, and be patient. I don't think it's about be patient for a decision. I think it's about be patient. The anxiety, the need to feel like to go back in and make it right will pass. Because here you are, single, 
by yourself and actually quite preferring it and liking it, but being aware that this connection hangs in the balance or that this connection is still out there. I think it's because you feel this way about that person, but I don't think they feel that way about you. I think you were the ideal partner for them, but I don't think they were that for you. All right, what else for Virgo? What would Virgo's ex, as it were, uh, because we got it, we got an ending here. <laughs> what would Virgo's ex say to them? And I say two cards. What would Virgo's ex say to them? Virgo's ex. Okay, and I'm gonna do one of these. This is kind of these are kind of like on the underbelly. I mean, the imagery is kind of like okay, but I mean, we're talking about somebody that might have an emotional intensity or so. Just just to see what else for Virgo here. Haunted. Awesome. Didn't want to pull that one. Um, <laughs> fitting because again, that member has said you're going to have all these feelings, but you need to sit and contain it. It's not for you to go run and do something that, so it leaves you feeling kind of haunted by this situation because it's always on your mind. It's like, it's, it's always there. It's always present. It's, it's uncomfortable. You, you, it's just, it's almost like it gets to be too much where it's like, gosh, just to solve the anxiety or, or relieve the pressure, you just go back. Even though you might not agree with it, you just go back because it's what you know and it'll set everything back to normal, right? Virgo. Could do without that imagery though. Leash. Yes, this is seek shelter or provide shelter. This could be speaking to the fact that you were very sheltering, nurturing, and encompassing for this person, but were they that for you? This could also be speaking to you need to shelter yourself with activities and friends, insulate yourself, keep yourself busy so that this doesn't get the best of you. You don't start to, you know, it's not like a runaway train. Virgo. Wow, shelter, shelter again. Okay, Virgo, uh, we got shelter twice and we got the feeling of being um, kind of just, this is always on the back of your mind, haunted by this, kind of just like, ah. Um, and this could be runaway forward movement. You know, like it might be passionate and exciting, but is it the best for you? Be careful. Stuff like this is always kind of fun and charming, but then when the nitty gritty, when the real stuff comes out, you know, I don't know, Virgo. We'll get to these in a minute. Am I done? I'm not done. Okay, we're getting to them now. I feel safer in the silence. That could be you. Uh, remember, we have this page of wands right here, or page of swords right here, which is also watching and waiting, but silence, no movement. That could be you. I feel safer in the silence. Okay. I can still feel you. I think this... Doggone it. I think this is you, Virgo. This is supposed to be what your ex would say to you, but I feel like this is you. Because that's what this being haunted by this situation is about. Is you can still feel this person like they're right there in front of you. And it's just easier for you not to engage. Because if you do, you're you're kind of starting to compromise things again. Because at first it's fun and then it gets weird. Alright. Where it go? Okay. This could... This could be somebody, things have ended and they're regretting things ended. And while they have a lot of emotions, they're not saying diddly squat. This could be what the King of Swords is about. Okay, maybe this is, they're not saying anything to you. It's just indirect um, communication. Emails, texts, that sort of thing. But it's, it's only communicating with you that way. Could be that. But we got shelter twice here and we've got, I feel safer in the side. I feel like this is you. Typically, this would be what your ex is saying to you. I mean, if it resonates, fine, but I feel like this is more about you here. Right. Okay, so this is about a, a blossoming romance that has a lot of obstacles, if not one big, huge, giant obstacle that is keeping things from moving forward and things are very cold right now. Or, 
or there's periods of coldness that you have dealt with in the past with this situation that has made it insurmountable. It's made it uncomfortable. But there's also periods of great emotional connection and passion, probably, which makes it very hard to stay away because when it's good, it's really good. But when it's bad, it's like downright Arctic, like frigid, like, oh my God. And that back and forth is that you have to ask yourself, is it strategic? Is this in someone's nature? Do they know how to get under your skin and, and be all the things and then turn around and pull it out from under you as a way of, you know, trauma bonding, keeping you in control, whatnot? One of the things about people with, you know, narcissism, abusive personalities, control, this and that, sociopaths, like all that, you know, we're running the gamut here, but people that have an agenda in a relationship, let's say that, they're very good at sex. They're very good at the emotional arts, shall we say, emotional martial arts, whatever you want to call it, because they have to be. They have to get you on board. They have to get you in position. So they're going to do and be and say whatever you need them to be. And they're going to be over the top sexual and crazy and romantic to get you swept off your feet and connected. And then as soon as you are, that's when the shenanigans start. So this would suggest the same thing here. We've got this and this, these two kings. We've got you going, Arr! feeling haunted by it, not being able to do anything. Wait, wait, wait. And being a by yourself person but still feeling this connection i can still feel you I, I feel safer in the silence that's you we got two cards of shelter and we got feeling haunted by this so this is somebody that you need not be involved with because you know what it's not the same to them as, as it is to you this presents itself as beautiful budding blossoming romance and all of a sudden bam you've got this insurmountable frigid mountain this is non-negotiable and non-movable. And this is somebody that, I mean, if we're talking about a person, there's chasms there. This is an unmovable energy, an unnegotiable energy. You will not change or affect this person. Your involvement with them could very well be a means to an end for them because you are probably, we got the Empress here, a great partner for them. Shutting up. Virgo, I hope this helped you. I, I really hope you see your way through this and that you stay sheltered and around your friends so that they can give you balance. Um, and I wish you safe passage with this. I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care, okay?